Welcome back to Z Tutorials. This is part three of our HTML and CSS course. And last time we got this lovely little content area where we have our left side and our right side, as we can see there in Dreamweaver, and they're split up. On the left, we're probably going to have advertisements, uh, maybe a menu, and on the right, we just have our welcome note. And now today, we want to work on putting in our footer and embedding our YouTube video. And our YouTube video is obviously going to be on the home page because we're going to kind of have a like blog style. And actually, one of my subscribers gave me an idea for this. I asked you in the last tutorial to give me an idea of what to do with this website. And he said we should let the subscribers upload blog posts and whatever they want. And then you can promote yourself on my website. Now, if we look at, we'll talk about that later. But if we look at YouTube itself and go to my last video, this drop down menu appears under the video where I click it and it collapses and I click it again and it expands. Now this is called a spray collapsible panel. And after we embed our video, that is what we are going to be doing. We are going to be putting in our spray collapsible panel. But before we get into all that good stuff, we just want to pop into our code and we want to do our footer. Now to do your footer, you have to make sure that you are going to be after the content area. So just click on a closing div there and you can see the targeted rule is hash sign content wrap. So we go under that content wrap because we want it to be under it, obviously. Start typing our code, div id equals two colon, two quotations, and we'll name it footer. We close our angle bracket, and we will close the div. So now in between dim two is where we're gonna have our text. So we'll just press enter there a couple of times. As you can see, nothing really happened there, but if I just type a letter there, we can see the div itself. As I stated, all the other tutorials the div is not styled it is just auto expanding auto collapsing whatever it won't be there when we delete that s so you want to go into our style.css document once again it is an id ids begin with a pound sign classes begin with a period sign so it's an id so pound sign or hash sign followed by footer the name of the div our two curling brackets and up and name our height. So height colon 25 pixels, semicolon to close that. Put in width. We want our width to be 980 pixels, the same width as our whole site. So it'll all be in proportion. Once again, we obviously want our margin to be left auto and right auto because as I showed you, it's probably the easiest way to do it. It just centers your site, otherwise your site will be all over the place and it won't be centered and it just looks much better centered, believe me. So margin left, auto, margin right, press enter when you get to margin right, auto, and semicolon to close that. So now we go into that and we see our little div down here. It's looking pretty good, it's the same as, same height, 25 pixels, and it is 980 wide. Now we might want to put a margin top on that so that it's not sticking to the content area. So maybe 10 pixels and as you can see there it's just pushed down a little bit. And it looks better as you can see and when our text goes in it won't look like it's clung up to the top. Now inside our footer we would just want to write some text. So maybe ztutorials.tk um, all rights reserved. Reserved. So when I pop into our design view, you will see that there. Now, I named it ztutorials.tk, not thinking it's actually geektalk.tk. That is where it's going to be. And that's where we're going to have our little upload inside. I think it's a good idea. Tell me if you think that's a good idea that um, you guys can upload your whatever you're interested in, tech-related um, reviews. You can, put, you can give me your videos, and I will embed them on my site for you which means you will be promoting your YouTube channel as well. And I think that's a pretty good idea. And as you can see, you're getting promotion right now because people are going to visit this site when it's done. And your video could be on the homepage. And I'll have featured video as well if it's very, very good. So we just want to go into targeted rule there and put inline style because that means we can style it without having to do a new class or an ID. And I'm just going to press the center tab there. The inline style, it's going to be set to our footer. The target of route is going to be footer. You change that to inline style just so that you can um, edit the text. You can edit the color, the size, all you want. There, You can put a bold, italic, whatever you want. You can do that with inline style. And that's the same with all over the website. 
So now we want to click on this embed code here and we want to copy this code. Now you can do all kind of options there. I went through that in one of my other tutorials as well. Basically it's just specifying a height and a width and if you want a border or not or if you want it to play in HD or not. You can fiddle around with that if you want. I prefer not to have it in HD in case people don't have a high quality um, or a fast internet connection. So if I just pasted that in, as you can see, it's not styled. It's just pushed over to the left there and it doesn't look good. So we're going to undo that, Control Z. Uh, if you work for me, Control Z, we we'll just highlight and delete it, I suppose. There we go. So now we want to put a div to hold our video. So under the right content, we want to make sure that we're still inside the right content. So target that div there. And as you can see, the target rule is right content. And inside that, we want to put a div id so angle bracket div actually we're going to use a class because we need to get used to knowing how to use classes and this is going to be used all over the website because i'm going to have embedded video all over the website which means we can reuse this and it's not a huge thing it's not like it's the content or anything so we could just have a class and i'm going to name it video underscore wrap close that div and refresh it and as you can see there is our little div there now obviously we need to style this with every div you need to style it you are absolutely wasting your time if you're not going to style it if you don't want to style it i suggest getting a template and just trying to make your best effort out of that but honestly it's not the same it's not as customizable it just doesn't look as good so i prefer doing it this way so once again period sign for a class as you can see we've been doing hash or hash signs all along now we want to do our period signs we're going to give it a height of, so it's 640 by 385, so we're going to give it a height of 385. You can also see it in the code here what height and what width it is. So 385 by 640, so we're going to give it a height of 385 pixels. We're going to give it a width of 640 pixels, or semicolon to close that. And we're going to give it a margin left of auto and a margin right of auto, which means that it'll be in the center of our right content. Because our right content is centered, which means it will be inside that anyway, and it won't be pushed off to the side. It will be inside our right content, but we still want it to be centered inside of that div. So inside our right content, as you can see here, it is centered. It's the same margin from the left as it does from the right. So there is our div there. You saw it. It looks pretty good. Now we can embed our code. So just press enter there twice and press control V to type in that lovely code YouTube gives you, makes it nice and easy for us. And as you can see it just says AX and it's like blank, but when you preview it in a browser, it will come up and it'll say Dream of Tutorial HTML and CSS website. You press play, it starts playing the video away, there's my intro, and you can change the quality, you can do everything you want on YouTube, it's the exact same player as YouTube has. There's our footer, if you didn't notice, down the bottom. And in the next tutorial we want to get on to I'm not going to do it this tutorial because I like to split them up so you guys can follow along easier maybe you guys don't want to do a spray collapsible panel I suggest it because everyone knows what that is at this stage because they be watching YouTube and it looks very very good and you can customize spray collapsible panels to whatever liking you want so in that the next tutorial which is up the same time as this I'm going to upload them both about the same time maybe two days apart so you should be able to watch that by the time you're watching this video. If you're not, go ahead and subscribe and you will get a notification when my video is uploaded. And we're going to put that under our video just like it is in YouTube. We're going to have click here for description. You click on that dialog box and it'll drop it down. So if we pop into our code view, we want to do a paragraph. And the code for a paragraph, meaning a space, an enter, a return, to have a, a space line in between text you do angle bracket p angle bracket um, by angle bracket i mean the greater and less than brackets and as you can see there it is and we can just we can also style that by highlighting it and putting our um, targeted rule in the properties panel to inline style and you'll get used to that it's very very easy again you can do another one if you want just put another P, maybe that looks better, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. It's up to your own taste, really. So let's preview that, and that's what it looks like. We have our welcoming text as opposed to what it used to look like, so that's what we did today. Um, as I said, we're gonna have the spray down there. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about 
the meaning of this website and what I was going to do with it. Originally I was going to just maybe do a giveaway on it or I don't know what I was going to do about it. I was probably just going to leave it alone actually because I didn't really want it. And it does have a really, really good domain name. That was the one thing. Geektalk.tk is a very, very nice domain name. People remember that. In fairness, it is a good domain name. So if I did what? I think his name is Assassin's... Um, I'll have an annotation anyway. It's Assassin's something. Um, he gave me the idea. Well, we kind of... We made up with it together. He gave me little ideas and I... I brainstormed with him we came up with this he said it's very interesting he said he would do it no problem so basically what I think I'm gonna do and you have to let me know in the comments whether you want this done or not or if you have a better idea but I think it's pretty cool and I think you guys will like it especially those who are uploading videos so you guys can uh, put up reviews so let's say you made a new YouTube video and you think it's pretty good you can submit it to me through the there'll be a submit button I suppose I'll put on it maybe a contact button and you can just send me the video and I will put it up on my website I'll put up your description obviously with the spray collapsible panel that we're going to do in the next tutorial and then we're going to uh, style, style it to your liking and maybe you have a blog post maybe you have your own blog and you want to you do tech related stuff and you do you do reviews you can do that and I will have it on my home page as of newest comes first and then I'll have a special one called featured maybe I'm only brainstorming what you know guys you have to let me know if you like this or not and I don't know we can work on it from there you guys can let me know in the comments so thumbs up if you like that idea thumbs down if you don't uh, leave a comment on what you do or don't want I'm really really interested I think it's a good idea anyway and thank you to assassins for letting me know that so that's it. Next tutorial is the spray class of the panel. There is lots more to come. Don't worry about it. So we'll have our forum. We'll have our contact. We'll have everything. I'll be making a contact form. I know you guys really want that. So until the next tutorial, thanks for watching and goodbye everybody. Peace out.